So this is question six from the Edexcel um, AS Further Maths um, Copio 1 2022 paper, and it's a vectors question. So this gives us uh, an equation for <coughs> the path of a tennis ball. Um, it's got some lambda squares in there, um, um, but it's, it's just given us that. Okay. Um, first off, it wants us to find the value of lambda when the ball hits the ground. So look at what i, j, and k are in this case. So i and j are on the court, and k is vertically upwards. So this will hit the ground when the k component is equal to zero. Okay, so we'll just set that k component equal to zero. This is a quadratic in lambda that we can solve. So get your calculator, solve the quadratic. So we've got minus lambda squared, 0.8 lambda, 0.84, and that gives us two values for lambda. 1.4 and minus 0.6. Okay. Notice in the question it says lambda has to be bigger than zero, so it's not this one. So lambda equals 1.4. Then gives us the direction that our tennis ball is moving in. Uh, it wants us to write down the direction which the tennis ball is moving as it hits the ground. So we've just worked out lambda's 1.4 when it hits the ground. So sub 1.4 into this. So 9 minus 4.6 times 1.4. Plus 15g. Plus 0.8 minus 2. Okay. Work these out. Two point five six I plus fifteen J and then not point eight minus two one point four gives you minus two. This is the direction that our tennis ball is moving in. It then wants us to find the acute angle at which the tennis ball hits the ground, given your answer in degrees to one decimal place. So um, this is essentially an angle between a line and a plane question, where the, um, the floor is modelled as the um, ij, so like the xy axis. A vector that's perpendicular to that is basically just k, so 0, 0, 1. Okay. So you've got your floor, which is a plane. The normal vector to that is zero zero one, and we're hitting it at some angle with this vector here. So we're going to use the dot product formula and the vectors a and b. Find the angle. So magnitude of a is just one. Magnitude of b two point five six squared plus fifteen squared. Two squared is square rooted. This fifteen point three four. Keep that in our calculator for later. We need a dot b, um, which will just give us minus two. So most of it's zero, and then just one times your minus two at the bottom, which is minus two. Then you can use your formula. So cos theta is um, a dot b minus magnitude of a, magnitude of b. So put in what we've got. Gives us that. Work that out in your calculator. So inverse cos minus two over ands is one point seven. Uh, we're going to want to be in degrees. In degrees, that's ninety-seven point five degrees. It asks for one decimal place. It asks for the acute angle, so I could take that away from one eighty. 
or I could have just done this as positive in my calculator. So the acute angle taking that away from 118 gives you 82. Degrees. D asks you to find the position of the tennis ball at the point where it is in the same plane as the net. Um, so uh, it tells us in the question the net of the tennis court lies in the plane r dot j equals zero. So j is the vector zero one zero. Okay. So we've got the position vector of the um, tennis ball from earlier on, which is here. We've got the equation of the net, which is here. So we're just finding where these intersect. To do this, um, I'm going to take that r and substitute it into the r dot j equals zero. So, um, I've, and in fact, I'm not even going to write it all out um, because if I'm doing uh, this vector dotted with j, all I'm going to get is the top one's going to times by zero, then the middle one times by one, the last one times by zero. So all I'm going to get is the j component. So I'm going to get minus 10.25 plus 15 lambda from my r dot j, and that's equal to zero. Work out lambda from this, so 10.25 over 15. Uh, and then I'm going to get the j component. It wants the position of the tennis ball, so finally then I've got to take that and sub that back into the equation for r. Uh, I've got four, minus 4.1 plus 9 lambda minus 2.3 lambda squared. Excuse me, 0 0.976. Then do that again. Uh, so minus 10.5 plus 15 lambda gives you uh, 0. That's what we had earlier. And then 0.84 plus 0.8 and minus and squared. You see, 0.920. It then says the maximum height above the court at the top of the net is 0.9. Modeling the top of the net as a horizontal straight line state whether the tennis ball will pass over the net according to the model. Um, so what we need to find here is um, the height of this ball, uh, which is essentially your k component. Okay. So your k component is 0.92. Um, so the height. Of the ball is 0.92 meters, which is bigger than 0.9 meters, so it will pass over the net. And then, with reference to the model, decide whether the tennis ball will actually pass over the net, given a reason for your answer. Um, so in this case, we've been modeling the tennis ball as a particle. Actually, it will have dimensions. 0.92 is only two centimeters above the 0.9. So it may well hit the top of the net. It might go over, it might not. But that's what we're going to talk about here. Okay. So um, the model assumes the ball is a particle. Reality, it will have a diameter as it only clears the net by two centimeters in reality. It 
than that. <laughs>